one woman was sharing how she and her daughter went through a lot of traumas and crises. They both developed depression, but it's almost like she developed this co-dependent bond with her daughter and they were both feeling the same depression for years. And finally, after years of doing emotional work and healing work, et cetera, they healed from the depression. And, you know, her daughter's fully healed. And yet what her, her daughter shares with her about the uh, whatever emotions she's experiencing, the mother has this huge reaction, even though she knows it's healthy. And she she feels like there's this energetic tie that is tied her to her daughter. And so she was wondering how it is we clear that. And yet another woman was sharing how she feels like she's actually dealt with a lot of her own emotional issues, but that some of the issues she's carrying aren't even her own. They're generational issues that have been passed on to her generationally from her parents and wondered, is this true that this can happen? Or can they be past life cell memories? And the first time I went to Germany, I think it was 2005, I was in Munich. And there, on the second day, we were doing the journey intensive, which is this very deep three-day immersion where you learn all the latest up to the minute journey work. And you're learning the emotional journey, the physical journey, advanced skills. And it's a hugely liberating and healing wash clean. And so I was there giving the journey intensive. And on the second day, where we were doing the physical journey, where we literally went inside and got access to the cells, one man said he was sharing his experience, his process. He went inside his heart and he said, Brandon, I don't have any heart problems that I'm aware of. But he said it was the oddest thing because the cell memory that I underwent wasn't even my own. It was my mother's. And she was in the concentration camp in World War II. He, he said, ever since I was born, I felt like I had this lid over my life. And my mother, even though I was aware she was in the concentration camps, she went, shh, don't. We don't talk about what happened in those camps. He said, I never knew what she went through. And he said, when I went inside my heart, all of her cell memories came flooding up and in living color. And I had to go through a process of releasing them and forgiving and letting go. And she, he said, I realized ever since I was born, it was like I had this lid over my life, even though I didn't have a clue what she had gone through. And I asked everybody in the room, we were only about 240 people at that time in the room. And how many of you feel like this, who were born post-World War II, that somehow you've had this lid over your life because of something your parents may have gone through and everyone raised their hands. And then I looked at my own life and I grew up in New York and I was born to a mother who is Austrian. My father was an American soldier and was there in Vienna. And she ended up marrying him, coming over to America. And I was born in a country as America is all about freedom. And yet I had to admit, my mother, she also went, Stum. we don't talk about the horrors that happened there. And Instead, I felt like I'd been born with this lid over my life. And I realized I was traveling all over Europe, not only to serve an awakening with healing, but for my own healing. And so some of the issues you carry may not even be your own. They may be from your parents, and yet they get passed on from one cell generation to the next cell gen generation. And so the journey is all about you going on your own journey, discovering your own truth, finding your own answers, going through your own process of learning your life's lessons, uncovering your own cell memories, and opening into a vast field 
of love that is your essence. And so many of you wrote in that you've been diagnosed with cancer, with multiple sclerosis, and with depression. And the journey can help you get to the emotional root cause of what co-created your illness. And so if I had to say in a nutshell, what is the journey? The best way I could describe it is in a metaphor to say that we all of us come into this life as a radiant shining diamond, absolutely whole as a vast field of love as an infinite awareness, a oneness that is pervading all of life. As a matter of fact, science will tell you that when you are born in your first days and weeks of life, an infant feels itself to be connected to all of existence as a vast field of love. And when mother's hand comes before your eyes, you experience mother's hand as actually being part of yourself. That's how vast this enlightened awareness is that we all came in as. But unfortunately, through the course of life's pains and trials, this infinite intelligence this vast field of love, this oneness, this feeling of being connected to all of existence, all of life and part of all of life, it gets covered over with a, a series of shutdowns, pain, lies, limitations. And it can be something simple. Like you're three years old and you're crying about something and your mother, mom says, come, come on, come on. We've got to dry our tears. We've got to get to nursery school. And the first involuntary automatic shutdown happens. Now, when you start shutting down one emotion, you start shutting them all down. I can remember I was 16 years old and I developed a crush on this guy and I tried to impress him and you know how that goes when you try to impress someone. And I made a complete and utter fool of myself. And I watched the first love in my life running out of my life. And I was running after him. And of course that day I decided I'm so unattractive. I'm so unlovable that no one I'm attracted to will ever want me. I'm just not worthy of love. Layer upon layer of shutdown. And then when we get to be adults, we cover this whole mess over with this mask that we present to the world that says to the world, no, I'm very reliable. I'm dependable. You can count on me. And then we wonder why it is everyone thinks we're so full of you can finish that sentence. And then if you get to be very lucky, life gives you a wake-up call. Now, these wake-up calls, they can come in so many forms. They can come, as one woman wrote, about a loss of a loved one. It can come in the form of a trauma, someone going to war, in the form of a divorce, for me, it came as a serious illness where for one moment you decide to get real and you cracked through this polished veneer that you're presenting to the world, this mask you've been wearing, and you end up spontaneously opening down through the lies, the shutdowns, the limitation through the pain. And spontaneously, you end up opening into your own essence, into your soul, into the infinite intelligence, this vast field of love, this oneness that you came in as. And you realize it's been there all along. Only like me, you bought into all the layers that covered it. 
And then if you get to be very lucky, is I have been more lucky than I could possibly thank God, life, grace, the universe for. You fall so in love with that vast field of presence, of peace that is your essence, that like me, you will do anything to clear whatever blocks you, whatever shuts you down, whatever buried pain is there and limitations and blocks that you've put there so that this radiant love that is your essence can live your life. So if I had to say, what's the journey really about? It's about getting real. It's about cracking through this mask we've all been presenting to the world. Opening down through the layers of the lies, shutdowns, and pains. And ultimately, opening into your own essence, into your soul. Into that infinite intelligence. And being guided by your own soul on a journey inside your body to get access to these cell memories and to go through a profoundly liberating and healing process of not only uncovering there, but releasing that pain, the stored consciousness, all the unspoken words, the vows, the beliefs that have been there, coming to an understanding of what's happened to you in your life and understanding also what why your soul had to live through that, what you were meant to learn from it, and then ultimately forgiveness of yourself, of others, life, God, so that when new cells are born, they're born devoid of that old consciousness as new regenerative cells. So even though, as someone was sharing, she doesn't have anything physical wrong with her, but she has a lot of anxiety and fear and she's OCD. And someone else was describing the, she didn't have anything physically wrong with her, but she somehow couldn't get finish with the grief that she had over a loss of a loved one. That these emotional issues, what my prayer is that you clear them before they end up manifesting as illness down the line. And so I feel strongly that I'm not the one that brought you here. Your soul brought you here. And it's calling you home to your own infinite intelligence. It's inviting you to go on your own journey, to uncover your own truth, Go through your own healing process and come to a place of wholeness so that you can live in this love. I remember I, I was on, before COVID happened, I was touring and I was in a, a different country, 44 weeks out of the year, every week a different country. And unless I would go down to Australia and then I'd be in a different city every week. And so, and we were traveling around the world, all around the world. And so every week I was getting a journey process because I knew that there was more than one cell memory here. And I felt it was a privilege to clear whatever blocks me or holds me back on any level of being. And so even though I would love to take you through the whole journey teaching, which is actually a three-day immersion called the journey intensive where you can really not only learn the teaching but actually you know dive in and go through meditations and do one-to-one -one process work each and every day and get all the teachings but to really experientially learn it and experience this liberating work so that when you leave that in, after the full three-day immersion, you can use it like I was using it every week to clear whatever's here, to find yourself living more and more as an authentic expression of the truth of who you are. It's not for casual, people of casual interest. It's for people who genuinely have a thirst to come home and free themselves.